Hello, good morning, and welcome to another weekly video, Living with Alzheimer's. And here we are at week number 60. Wow. I didn't think that um, I would do four or six weeks, let alone 60. I'm happy to keep doing the videos, and I do hope that you're happy to keep listening to them, because there's so many people doing videos at the moment um, on the internet um, about their lives with dementia and educating others, and, and that's absolutely wonderful. But as long as people are happy to, to listen to me, then I will keep doing video every Friday and until such a point in time where I think I can't do them anymore, they become too difficult. So, <clears throat> really, we are at 60 now. It's up to you, everybody out there, whether you want me to carry on. I don't mind, but I don't want to to carry on doing the videos if they're becoming, I don't know, if they're becoming old hat, maybe, <laughs> if that's the right term. But anyway, I'll leave it to you and I'll, I'll go on your feedback anyway. Now, <clears throat> this week I want to talk about changes. Um, personal changes that have happened to me over the last few months. But I want to start really at, at the beginning of Alzheimer's dementia. People with dementia like myself, we are very good at, I suppose, not, well, maybe covering things up is the right word. We're, we're very good at finding solutions to problems. Now, in my own personal experience, and I'm sure many other people's experience, Dementia doesn't come on overnight. It takes many, many years to come to a point in time where you're diagnosed. Now, over that time, we become accustomed to having dementia. We become used to finding solutions to problems. As different things drift away from us, we overcome certain problems. Now, I get so I forget people's names very, very quickly. And I know that a lot of people can say, oh, I forget people's names. But I forget who people are. I go cycling with people regularly um, every week. And there are only a very few amount of those people that I can remember who they are. Um, I can't really visualize their, their, their faces. I can't remember who they are. And we get good at it because we say, Oh, hey, hi, you, how are you doing? And you can, you can talk to somebody without even using their name. Um, I've lived in the same village for 25 years. Um, there are people that we talk to as we walk around the village, and my wife will say to me, you had no idea who they are, did you? I said, no, no, I don't, I don't know who they are. They've lived in the village for 25 years. They live down Low Road, or Chase's Lane, or somewhere, and I have no idea. And that can be that can be frustrating, but it's just people think that you just forget things, but you don't. We become very good at, at covering dementia up. But as the condition progresses, things happen that we can't cover up. We're not in control of. Um, like reading and writing for me, signing my name, not remembering what yesterday's weather was like. And, um, and today it's very cloudy and the light is very bad. That's why I'm sitting around this way a little bit, because I'm trying to get the best of the light that I can, but it's not really working. So we get so that um, all of these things change. Now, one of the things that has changed for me just recently, and I'm hoping that maybe somebody else is going, when I say this, is going to say, yeah, wow, that's happened to me. Because I think it's important to know that or nice to know that for other people, that they're not the only ones out there with the same problem. And also, in actual fact, it's probably nice for me. I bite the inside of my mouth and my tongue constantly now. Uh, most meal times, if not every meal time, I will bite my mouth or my tongue. And it's not just a little nip, it's quite a nasty bite. Now, we've all done that from time to time. Even before I had dementia, I used to do that on very rare occasions. And you know that when you bite the inside of your mouth, it's painful. And for the rest of that meal, you're conscious that you might do it again. So you chew very slowly and very, I'm going to use a very good word here now, methodically. I like that word. Um, and that's how you go for the rest of the meal. Now, that's what it's like for me every meal. 
I have to think about eating and I have to think about the way that I chew so that I don't bite my mouth. If I do it slowly and methodically, then, um, oh, that is a good word, then it doesn't happen. But it's something that I have to do every single meal time now. So you imagine that that process of when you've bitten your lip or your mouth and you have to slowly eat and you have to think about it. You, you imagine that every single meal time. Now, I'm sure there must be other people out there with dementia who are biting the inside of their mouths. This is a new thing that's come up over the last, I don't know, few weeks, month or so. Um, and um, one that I, I don't know if it's going to disappear or not, but um, and it, it's very painful and very frustrating. And um, yeah, it can be very, very annoying. It does try my patience. Another thing that's happened over a, a, a short, well, over some time now, is that I jump quite a bit. If we're sitting in the car, or even if we're sitting an evening on a settee, somebody opens the front door, I jump out of my skin. Or if we're in the car and my wife just happens to say something, oh, look at that, oh, I'll jump. And I don't know why, but it's as though I've relaxed so much. And then all of a sudden, somebody just says something, not loud, but just in a normal voice, and it makes me jump out of my skin. If somebody happens to drop something, or, or bang something, or even just shut a drawer loudly, I physically jump. Um, and um, yeah, that's that, that could be quite embarrassing. I've no control over it. So maybe that's something else that... Um, that somebody has uh, has come across as well. These are all changes that dementia being a progressive disease, um, we will come across, I suppose, all the while. Um, and they're just things that we're not in control of. Life with dementia is, is, is difficult. It's, it's not easy. It's, um, it's a trial at times. And I think it takes it takes a lot of energy to constantly be positive. It takes a lot of, and I'm going to use the word guts, to continue with a positive outlook on life. Um, but we do. I do. And that's what it's all about. To try and show others that it is possible to live the best we can with dementia. Now... On a positive note, and a bright note, I've been thinking about next year's challenge, next June, and I've come up with one or two ideas. And I wonder whether any of you out there have got ideas that what I could do. Um, the idea that I've got is um, a four or five counties tour. We start at Suffolk on the coast where I live. We go round Suffolk, Norfolk, Lincolnshire, Cambridgeshire, maybe Essex and home, or just Cambridgeshire and home. And this year, this year, next year rather, and we're thinking about doing this in June, so we've got plenty of time to think about it, but I want to have something to, to challenge myself. I want to have another goal to go for, because as these changes continue with me, I need to have something to focus on, and I think everybody needs that. Next year, I want people to join me. I want as many people as possible to join us on sections of our challenge. Now, whether we do the four counties or five counties, or whether somebody out there comes up with another idea that we can do, then that would be wonderful. Maybe we'll get lots of ideas and, and, and put them in a hat, and, and early next year we'll pick an idea out so that you guys out there get involved in this challenge and you guys can say, you know what, that was my idea and, um, and Peter's doing it. I'd like something that is cycling, preferably, but hey, if it's walking or whatever, it's a challenge. So, um, and whatever that challenge is, I would like people to, to join us to make it a bigger effort, to make it a, a a joint effort. Uh, I don't just want me and a few others to do it. I want people to join us during sections of that so that everyone gets something out of it. So I try and always end on a positive note. That's my positive note today. Have a wonderful weekend as always. Have a wonderful week and maybe next Friday it'll be a bit more sunnier but you know what? Uh, 
uh, the summer is gradually creeping away. It's not done yet. So anyway, I'm off to do some cycling now. Um, so uh, yeah, pedalling down dementia or chain reaction against dementia. That's what I look at it as. Talk to you again next week. Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.